everybody, it's Lucinda and I'm here with my friend Leonora and Leonora is, do you guys see me? Cause I don't see me on the full screen. Jill, if you can just help me. I don't see that I'm sunny. Am I like yep. the main view? Okay, great. Cause I don't see that. So this is really exciting. I wish I could see myself bigger. Um, didn't know this would happen. So we're just going to go with the flow. So I'm here with my friend Leonora and we're in Canada. So we thought we had to put all kinds of crazy cold sweaters and today it got really, really warm. So I'll just take off my Douglas Cardi and just be a little more comfortable like a Mr. Rogers moment. So anyways, Leonora is here and she's gonna help me present because we are together and we're in Canada, we're not in Montreal. What a lot of people think we're in Montreal. We're about an hour and 15 minutes from Montreal. And in just a few minutes, I'm gonna switch to my normal way of doing things. And I'll be doing things in two languages, French and English. So one of the things that I'm going to be showing you is a little bit about what we do here at Montrico. So on va vous montrer des choses qu'on fait à Montrico. So first off, I wanted to show you, we're in the forest. We're a, um, in a beautiful ski resort town called Sutton, Quebec. We are bilingual. We speak, a lot of us speak English and a lot of us speak French. So in order to make sure that we're inclusive and everybody says hello, I'm going to speak a little bit in French. So je dis un gros bonjour à tout le monde et je dis qu'il y en a beaucoup qui um, pensent qu'on est à Montréal, mais on est en dehors de... Um, the the dans les cantons de l'est on est à Sutton. So one of the exciting things about uh, what we have to bring to you is we have some amazing designers and some amazing Canadian yarns. So Leonore is just going to have a little seat so that uh, we go through some of the rules of the whole Zoom and how this works. So the first thing is if you have a question, if you can put it in the question and answer, and then it can get recorded with an answer. Also, yes, so somebody asked if we're near Louise Penny. So a lot of the places that Louise Penny writes about are in our area. So si vous avez une question, vous pouvez utiliser les questions et réponses en bas. So question and answer, c'est là que vous allez mettre les questions. If you want to ooh and ah about things that I'm showing you, put it in the chat. So si vous voulez voir et dire, oh, c'est génial ce qu'on fait, um, vous pouvez le mettre dans le, um, dans le, dans le chat. So Andrea is uh, just asking me about uh, the sweater that I'm wearing. And the sweater that I'm wearing is one of my designs called the Juicy Fruit. So I put a little bit earlier, if you scroll through the chat, I will try to also add another document. So I have a document that follows the presentation. So j'ai un document qui a la présentation et um, toutes les liens pour uh, toutes les patrons que je vais mentionner vont être là. So all the links to the patterns, all the links to the kits will be here on this document that you can see. If you're joining us on Facebook, hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde sur Facebook. So si vous voulez cette liste là, vous pouvez nous envoyer un courriel. So at any time, I thought I would show you, this is our website, montrico.ca, and our email is at montrico at gmail.com. So if you're on Facebook and you would like this document, I'm happy to send it to you. So, um, voilà, si vous voulez ce document-là, je peux l'envoyer après. So, um, so, so somebody's in Hawaii. We're jealous of you that you're in Hawaii. So, um, how do you see the document in the Zoom? So let me tell you how you can see it. So if you scroll on the chat, so down below, there's a chat and it's, if you click on chat, you can scroll and you will see the document. So comment voir le document, le document avec toutes les liens dans le Zoom, vous pouvez ouvrir le chat et vous pouvez cliquer, uh, vous pouvez défiler le, les commentaires et vous allez voir uh, le document. So. so if you join later than it was joined, you can't. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, um, Rachel. I will be adding it from time to time. So that's a, a good little reminder. 
So the first thing that I wanted to show you was I wanted to showcase one of my favorite yarns that I have been knitting with. Well, not so much the yarn, but one of the brands that I've been knitting with since I was first a knitter. So the brand is Koigu. There you go. So this Koigu has a new yarn this year and it's a Merino and it's a DK and it's absolutely stunning. And I just fell in love. And one thing that I fell in love with Koigu so many years ago was the colors. And so we wanted to bring it in in lots of beautiful colorways. So we have all the colors. And uh, bonjour. Oh, some, um, bonjour, ça c'est le Koigu. C'est la laine que j'ai, pas la laine, mais c'est la compagnie que j'ai commencé à tricoter quand, um, quand j'ai commencé à tricoter il y a bien des années. So it's a mother and daughter team in, um, it's a mother and daughter team in Ontario and they just make some awesome colors. So when I was getting ready for this and Koigu, I have to thank them. They did a whole lot, like every store got a prize. So maybe now's a good time since everybody's on, y'all wanna do a prize. We'll do a prize on the Zoom right now. And then we'll do a prize on the um, Facebook. So um, so the sweater that I'm wearing is the Juicy Fruit. And just for those joining, you have all that information will be in your document. So um, this is the Koigu and we'll do, Tayu sent us a prize. So we'll do this prize on, how many people we got on? Hard to tell. Okay, so we'll do this one on Zoom and then we'll do the second prize on Facebook right after. So I'm going to pick a number and I'm going to scroll and see through the um, panelist. So there you go. I'm just scrolling and I'm seeing where it stops. So I've got uh, Tara Hunt. So Tara Hunt. So Tara Hunt is the winner of the Koigu Prize. And um, so participation's everything in this. So this is great, she participates. So you get, so Tara, you're gonna get a skein of Koigu and you're gonna get my new hat pattern that I published last night. So I have it here. And that's one of the things I wanted to show you. And I have a bucket of Koigu. Here's my bucket of Koigu. So it's my colorific hat. And it's really fun because with the, with the colors, you can do these cables. So it's just a really fun pattern. And what I love about it is that it's all ribbed with some fun cables up on the front. And so it has a really good fit. And it's asymmetrical because you have the cables on one side and the ribbing on the rest. So voila, elle, Tara, a gagné ce, ce, le patron de la tube. Et elle a gagné les chevaux pour le faire. So, but this, I published it last night. And uh, you'll see on the document that I'm giving a discount. So if you unravel any of my patterns, it'll be 25% off and um, with the code Montrico. So that's, that's on here. And I'll let you know. So Jill, can you say on Ravelry on Facebook, make a note that code Montrico for a discount. So one of the things that I love is I love color. So you will see that I have a real love of color. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Just keep reminding me if you don't have access to the document and I'll keep reposting it. So not a problem. So one of these things, um, so one of these, um, I love color. So one of the things that I do is I always try to explore color and use color a lot. So really Koigu speaks to my soul with all their beautiful, beautiful colors. And I thought I would show you how they come out in the Jasmine because they're just absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to tell, um, so if you do not, if you can't have uh, access to the chat for whatever reason, you might be on a phone, just email me and I'll send it to you at the end. It's just one document. So montrico at gmail.com. And I think Jill, who's helping me um, here, I have to answer now. So just email me at montrico at gmail.com 
And if you're on Facebook, Jill is having a hard time typing things in. So I will go in later and I will do posts of everything that I'm sharing here. So I will post the website again is Montrico. So Montrico.ca. So if you're on Facebook and you're not seeing the links, it's really quite okay. Um, we will be posting everything and not to, um, not to worry. Um, so I thought I'd show you more of the, um, more of the colors. So look at this beautiful yellow, so sweet and yellow. This one has a little bit of teal and gray, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so thank you, Tricia. So not everybody sees it. So I will be posting. So if you follow, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, because everything that is on this document will be, um, will also be, um, oh, oh no, I'm posting to just, I'm, po oh, oh dear. Okay, everyone. So. I apologize, I was not posting it to everybody, but, um, but I will be doing that right now. And if you don't get it, we will make do. So I thought it was everyone, now everybody should be getting it. And if some apps don't get it, I'm gonna post. And I have a really amazing price. I have some great uh, companies that um, we carry at Montrico and Camp Color has given us one of these. So I'm going to do a post with all the links and one, and you'll be able to win. If you comment or say what you liked about the curl, then we'll be able to get you to enter to win for that. So let's look at some colors. So we've got this one. Look at this beautiful color, some mauves. This is the autumn rusts. Absolutely beautiful. And this one, I'm just crazy about it. It looks like fireworks at night. So lui, je l'aime vraiment beaucoup. On dirait des feux d'artifice la nuit. And I just want to show you, because I do have a sweater knit in it. And this is DK, so it makes an excellent hat. Look at how cool that sweater is. Just It just knits up. And we never did, you know, you, they tell you to alternate the rounds, but we never alternated skeins on this one. So that's this color right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. So lui est vraiment beau. D'habitude, on va alterner les échevaux, mais sur celui-là, on ne l'a pas fait. I'm just loving all the love for Koigu. I'm seeing that in the chat, and that just really, it makes my heart happy. It makes me sing. So uh, il y a beaucoup de beaux commentaires sur uh, à propos de Koigu. They're a wonderful Canadian company, and it's amazing colorways. And one of the things that, um, what is the color? So the color of the blue is 475. So the color of the blue is 475. On our website, we did a page that's just specifically for the crawl. So all the kits, all the yarns I'm showing are right there. We'll be around all afternoon and evening and throughout the weekend if you need any help. So, si vous avez des questions, on va vous répondre ce soir, en fin de semaine, n'importe quand. So, look at this gorgeous, such soft colors. So, they're either bright and happy or soft and soothing. So, soit ils sont vraiment là, magnifiques et éclatants, ou c'est en toute douceur, mais c'est des couleurs qui se tricotent vraiment bien. And what's fun is that it's in DK. So in DK, you get a nice hat and you have a nice ribbing. So this one is the, um, oh, the composition of the Koigu yarn is it's 100% Merino and it's dyed here in Ontario. Well, I'm in Quebec, but it's in Ontario. So there you go. And one thing I should have done, so I need to remember to press answer the live question. So um, the composition of the Koigu is 100% Merino and it is a DK weight yarn and it has a nice twist so that on sweaters, you're not gonna have a, a lot of pilling. It's gonna be harder wearing and very comfortable to wear. On m'a demandé, c'était quoi la composition de la Koigu? Et c'est 100% Merino. Donc on aime ça, c'est Canadien. So, huh? don't worry. So my husband's having trouble writing on Facebook. 
So don't worry, we're just gonna go with the flow and he's not at all gonna answer questions. And um, we will just go in and answer the questions later and post. So pour celles ou ceux qui sont sur Facebook, on va pas se stresser sur ça et on va juste aller et répondre plus tard. So please leave comments, we will do, um, should, since they're having a hard time, should we do a prize on Facebook? Yeah. So you're gonna pick a name, Jill. And I don't have all the prizes to show here because one of the things, um, so one of the things is the, um, that uh, because I'm in Canada, then uh, we, um, we decided not to ship everything here. And then I have Laura, the prize fairy that helps me. So I'm going to do a draw for the Noro Rove Cal and we're gonna do it on Facebook. Gilles, can you pick a? Julie, Julie Chartrand. Julie Chartrand. Yay! So Julie Chartrand, um, there you go. So he, you can't type, Gilles can't type on, um, on yeah, Facebook, no. but he can, pick, uh, he can pick winners. So that's good. So we, we made sure that that works. So now moving right along, um, now that it's all about accessories. I love sweaters, but I thought for, um, for right now, it would be really good to, um, to, um, to show you some accessories and what you can wear. And there's a pattern that's coming out next week. And we're gonna switch on over to the, some yarns from Julie Asselin and our local designer. So this is a brand new shawl by Lucy Paquet and I'm just holding it up. There we go. So it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's made with three different yarns. There you go, do you see that? So it's a really beautiful shawl. It's a triangle shawl. And I'll show you what it's made with. Just one moment. So it's made with two skeins of Julie Asselin's Lazy Fingering Simple. So this is c'est fait avec deux échevaux de Lazy Fingering Simple. So it's a merino silk in a single ply. And the next one is with a Lazy Fingering. And this is with some special colors that Julie made, Julie and Jean-Francois made. They made the Monsieur Montricot. So if you're familiar with the shop, you'll know that my husband and I run the shop together. It's not always Leonora and I. I mean, she doesn't do everything that we ask her to do. So voila, this is Madame Montricot. So this is my colorway, my exclusive colorway. And this one is Jill's. So this is the cutest thing. So you could do something together, but um, Lucy Paquet came up with this design and we made beautiful kits with it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the design because I actually started it in the stress of everything um, that we were going through preparing for the, the crawl. I started it on Thursday night and it is the most Zen knit. So I'll tell you how it works. I'll show you my colors first. So voila mes couleurs, je les aime beaucoup. So mine, of course I had to use Madame Montricot. Yes, the kits, thank you, Lisa. The kits are all on our website and there's a special tab for the fall curl and it's all there. So this, for my colorway, I used Paprika, the Madame Montricot and the Spin Cycle Deep Bump. So I will just show you what I started. So it starts from the bottom up. So je vous montre, je vous montre comment ça marche. So je commence par le bas. And it's, you don't even need stitch counts. So y'a même pas les chiffres parce que c'est pas important. So this is really, in French, there's an expression called lâcher prise. So, oh, I had a call. Okay, so this is the marigold shawl. And it is um, on our website. So it's also on the document. I'll put that in again. And one of the things that I wanted to tell you is that in French, we're gonna have a little lesson. There's an expression called lâcher prise. And what that means is letting go. So if you're the kind of person that wants all the answers to everything, you wanna have the perfect stitch count, you want everything to just be um, just right, 
Well, this is the one that's going to be about letting go. This is certainly, you start off with three stitches and then you make alternating bands of garter and of lace. So you really can't go wrong. And so I'll show you some of the other colors. I fell in love with mine, but of course it's with Madame Montrico. So je suis en amour avec mes couleurs, but we made some gorgeous colors. So this one is the one that's closest to what she originally used. She used family jewels, but we are out um, of them. So, um, so just a reminder that the document can be found in the chat, or you can always email us and we will email it to you. So our email is montrico at gmail.com or you can send us a message through Facebook. You can say, hey, you and I'll make sure you get it somehow. So we decided to do some, oh, this one's a little bit neutral. So I think we called this one uh, the fleur pressé. So fleur pressé means pressed flowers in French. So it's got some really nice neutral tones. So the Marigold link is on Facebook. And this one is called Coquette. It's with Horacio. And this is the color Coquette. And it just really is just a nice fallish color. Say la couleur Coquette. I love Julia Sang's colors and the names are just so much fun. So this one I think is called Jardinier. So it's got a little bit of a bluish and then it has space oddity with coral. So it's just a little pop of color. But when she saw, I, when she showed me this shawl that she made, I got so excited and I really wanted to be able to, um, to present it to all of you. And so it's called the Marigold Shawl. And the designer is Lulu Paquet. And she's here local. And I'm so excited because she's just retiring. So she'll have so much more time to create. So we have this one's like for the purple lovers, if you see. You, so this one is Never Wary and we have Charlotte. So when you, this is, a, a, um, thank you, Stacy, for, um, I'm just gonna answer her question. So Stacy says that on the website, there only appears to be one color option. So when you click on the drop down arrow, all the other options will come up. And when you click on the colorway, the picture will come up. Sometimes you need to wait a minute, depending on your internet site, um, and your web that you might wanna be, uh, just give it patience. There's a color, I did fall leaves with it because it's really all about fall. So it should be there. So if you need help, you let me know because that's what we do. We love helping people. So this one is called Ariel and it's with aquas and teals and grays. So cellulose Ariel. And it's an interesting mix of textures, of colors. It's really wonderful. And this one has shades of earth. And I think we called it Orion because we kind of based it all on nature. So Orion, uh, the, the um, anyways. So this is, um, look how beautiful. So for if you want a more neutral, but darker, moodier palette. And then for the red lovers, we've got uh, Petit Fruit. So Petit Fruit means uh, berries. So this is berries. How much is the kit? Jill, can you tell us how much the kit is? Coming up. I think it's a hundred. So it's, it's 149. So 130 for minus the. So 100, the original price is 149. It includes the pattern, but we have everything on for 10% until the end of the month. So on uh, tout nos kits sont à moins 10%. And when you, um, when you get this document, you will see that we have two promo codes and I'll type it in the chat. So the promo codes are, Mon it's the same promo code, but Montrico, all one word. And it means that you get 10% off anything regular price. And the kits that we're showing you today are 10%. So c'est moins 10% avec le code Montrico. So everything that we carry is in Canadian dollars. We ship daily. Um, so everything that we have on our website is Canadian dollars. So it's always a little better for you Americans. And what we do is we ship daily. We are just right across the parking lot 
from the post office and things do get there fairly quickly. It's not like the last year when we were all uh, super busy. So the code Montrico for either patterns or for, um, yes, thank you, Margaret. It is so much less in American. So, um, so those are the kits for this, but it's just an amazing, it's nice, it's long, it's deep. And the one thing that I love about it, like I'm saying, it's got, look, it's got little baubles. Do you see the baubles? Look, it makes such a nice decorative motif that it's just really amazing. And it's really zen. I kind of said, oh, you know, I knit fast. And I thought to myself, I think I'll be able to finish it for the crawl. And then reality hit in. And um, do you have one in the colorway you are wearing? So the one that we have, the colors better. So the saffron is the same. The Mont These three colors, three skeins are the same. And this one's called the, is this one called the saffron? I think it we called it saffron. Yeah. Because the Julia Slane color is saffron. So this is the saffron kit. And Lucy used uh, family jewels and we replaced it with the saddest place because we were out of, um, we were out of um, the family jewels. So some people I notice are having, um, and so, Oh, so, okay, so they were all at quantity zero. So thank you, Lucretia. Oh my God, thank you so much. You know, we plan so many things, we do so many things that it's really, really hard. So Jill's going to be uploading that because the colorways are just so gorgeous. And I think that's one thing we missed this morning that we had. So we will add the quantities. And I'm so sorry, because we have like, I'm a squirrel when I buy yarn and I have like a lot of quantities. So all, the other thing is that I find, um, so they're all up now, everything's up. And if one runs out, we'll make, uh, we'll make more kits. So not a worry. So thank you again, Lucretia. And uh, so there you go. So look at this, perfect for fall, perfect for that perfect pop of color. So yes, we always need the helpers. <laughs> So um, there we go. So this is the marigold shawl from Lucy Paquet. So now the last one is something that I made because um, while we love Julie Aslan and we love Poigu because they're Canadian, I'm also originally born in New Orleans. So I my heart is also in the US. And one of my favorite brands is, um, yes, Karen, thank you. Like magic, they're there now. It's you know, when Facebook doesn't want to let Jill um, add things, um, the our website does let him add things. So it's great. So um, my heart is also American. And uh, so one of my favorite brands is uh, Art Yarns. And I just am always amazed by how these colors come out and the amazing beauty. And they really speak to me. And they really, as a designer, they really make me want to... Uh, to sing and to dance so is it so all of my um so the um so somebody's asking if the pattern is available to buy on Ravelry so one of the things that Lucy Pecky did not want to do is she did not want to put the French um or the pattern up without the French so it will be or um available um in in the next week or so, and then it will be available for pattern purchase just on Ravelry. So if you're working from your stash, that's great. So, ah, oh, the neon, ah, oh, Rachel, you, you speak to my heart. So the rainbow colorway and art yarns. So we have the rainbow colorway, the neon rainbow is right here. And we also have it, in a six ply gradient. So I'm just in love with uh, these yarns. And I want to show you something that um, one. Um, so I love the neon rainbow and there's patterns and we're, we got all of it and we I love it. I've worked with it for many years. So I often uh, contribute a design to one of the different uh, inspiration colors. And this one right here is the inspiration called Baltic Sea. I'm not sure how you can use it, see it. So say la couleur Baltic Sea, la mer Baltique. And this one just really had me going. It just 
I figured everybody's gonna look good with this close to their face. So I wanted to do an accessory with this. And I um, I made a cowl, okay? The and then, huh? The link is up. The link is up. So um, Jill's on it. So I made a cowl and I'll show you how you wear it in a minute. But I made a bandana style cowl. So j'ai fait un col de style bandana. And I mixed it with a charcoal which is right here. Of course, I really, I'll show you what I really should have mixed it with. I really should have mixed it with this because my husband stole the cow in the hat. So, um, you know, I think actually he likes it so much. If it was hot pink, he would still uh, steal it. So, Gilles m'a piqué mon col. So then I was like, well, I need a hat to go with this because a hat would be absolutely just perfect because you don't use the full amount of the skins. So on utilise pour tout uh, exactement um, la laine. So j'ai fait une toque. So then I decided to make a toque. So what's really cool about this is that it is reversible. So you could wear it like this and have the flap up and be charcoal. Or you could wear the gray and have the flap up that is blue. The thing that I was thinking about when um, I was making this is I didn't want the hat to have that same slip stitch motif. Um, so the color, uh, so the, it's the, on our website, you'll have the, all the links for the uh, marigold shawl. So if you go to montrico.ca, then you will see a tab that says have a ball fall crawl and you will see the marigold shawl kits there. So this hat, one of the things that, so our shipping rates are fixed. Um, I have to press the answer live. So our shipping rates are fixed. So they're uh, except for, so any um, order that's $250 or more for the US and Canada gets free shipping. And then Ontario and Quebec and the US, it's $14. And how much is it for the provinces out West? $17.50. $17 so because I went with the charcoal, I named, uh, there we go. So name of this hat and cowl. So here we go. So thank you. Um, so I named this the Baltic Knight hat and cowl. So one of the things I like to explore sometimes is the construction. So this one, it starts Look at that, it looks like a crazy thing. So this one, in order to get the circular round, which to me represents the waves, these of the Baltic Sea, um, you start from the center out, so right here, and you work your way out. Once you reach enough of the stitches that you need, you continue till you reach a certain point, and then you continue with the charcoal, and you do decreases. So it's really a lot of fun to knit. Um, I'm lucky because Jill likes knitting a lot of uh, sucky necks. So he helped with that. I did the start and he did the rest. But um, so I think he likes to wear it. And I would try it on to show you, but I have really thick hair and I don't want to stretch out his hat because he always says I do that. So, so there you go. Do you guys have any questions? This is really like, I love showing how I do things. I did a shawl that went from a uh, circle to a square and then to a uh, rectangle. And so I was really inspired to do a hat by what other things can you make a circle turn into? And that's one of the things that I love. So there you go. So I'll show you one thing. I was going to keep myself to three things. So the, both, of these, both of these are on Ravelry. It's the Baltic hat and the Baltic cowl. If you put both of them, if you want to use yarn from your stash, if you put both of them in your cart, you get a cheaper, um, a cheaper uh, rate. It's for, instead of $7, it's $10 for both. And one, the, this kit makes both of them. So Jill, can you find me, Marmite, somewhere? So I'm not sure. So I will show you. <laughs> Somebody's telling me to show you my Marmite. So what about 
Um, but I'm not sure where that shawl is, if we can find it quickly. So on va voir si on peut le trouver. Merci, Nathalie. So what about the hat and cowl in a purple and neon green? Ooh, ooh, purple and neon green would be really awesome. So you could do all sorts of things. So if somebody wants to look for a color that, um, you look up above. So if somebody wants to do something in a color that we don't have in the kit, we can tell you if it looks good, we can take photos and we're more than happy to help because we love it. And you know, one of the things is like, for example, this one is the Northern Lights colorway with the purple. These kits are also online. So these, this is the Northern Lights. It could go with a purple. And this is the Northern Lights with a, a bright pink. And you can also do it with a navy. So if you just want a pop of color, <laughs> thank you, Lisa, we appreciate. So one of the things that Jill often teases is he says his half of the store is for sale. So if you ever want to, <laughs> so just joking. But um, so this is my, I wasn't planning on showing this. So um, my marmite shawl, it starts from the center out and it becomes from a circle to a square. And then it becomes a long rectangular shawl. So I love exploring what we can do with these different things. So the Northern Lights, it's to die for. You can also put it with a citron green. And I'm gonna show you something I did with that. And I used the silk, but the Merino Cloud would work as well too. So this one is a shawl. And as you see, it ends. So this is a rectangular shawl and it starts off. Thank you, Lucretia. I love color. I can never get enough of color. So I really, really just, I think that's where Art Yarns, Koigu and Julie Asselin really speak to me because it's really, um, can we get a full view? So, of, okay, so I'll show you, this is my, this is my juicy fruit. There we go. So that's the front and the back. It can also be made with um, with the merino cloud. I have a short sleeve version of um, I have a short sleeve version of the juicy fruit as well, which I hadn't planned. It was just the heat that made me do that. So uh, there you go. So then, oh, great question. What is the name of the shawl with a circle to a square rectangle? So that is called the marmite. I'm gonna put the link for both. Okay, so um, the Marmit um, is actually based on, um, since Sutton is a mountain town, I'll give you a little bit of the history with that. It's a mountain town. And what happens is there's at the top of the mountain, there's these cauldrons, which are basins of water, where after a long summer hike, you can go and you can go have a swim or a dip in the water and cool off. And then you can take the path that goes all the way down to the village, Marmit, M-A-R-M-I-T-E, S. S with an S, because it's called, it's based on the witcher's cauldron. So the reason, so it's spelled with M-A-R-M-I-T-E-S. So the, the basins of water at the top of the mountain are called the sorcerer's cauldrons. And this really makes, it, so it's starting, everything starts from the witch's cauldron and emanates down to the village. So that's one thing. And I wanted, oh my God, I'm running out of time. I can't believe. So um, this is so exciting. I wish, just join me on Facebook and Instagram. Follow me. We have so much fun. Um, I love uh, touching base with everybody. But one of the things I wanted to show you was we got these new, somebody said in one, of, yes, it's available in a kit on our website. Jill, can you add the marmite to the, uh, yeah, okay. in, uh, no, no, but to the, um, to the uh, promo, have a ball promo. Okay. So I also, what are the color names for the hat and cowl knit? The charcoal and the blues. So that's the Baltic Sea. So it's the Baltic Sea and color 264. So Baltic Sea and 264. So I wanted to tell you that one of the things that I love, oh, so I'm Montrico on Instagram. I'm Montrico. <laughs> thank, thank you, Sally. 
Thank you, Sally. I get so excited when I'm talking about yarn and color. It's really my thing. And so to me, it's hard to like my friend is always like, slow down, slow down. But it feels like the more I talk, the more I get excited. So I've got about three minutes and I'll just tell you that my friend has these pearl strings and they're really great for trying on sweaters. And I'll, I'll post about these because we're running out of time. But it's really great because you can put your project on hold, you can try them on, and you can also put your sleeves on hold. And then when it's time to put your, um, your needles back on, then you just have to slide it all through. I'm going to do a video tomorrow morning and put it on my website or on Facebook and Instagram because we're not doing justice to this in the last minute. But I wanted you to know that this is my friend Kelly from Mouton Rouge Knittery that makes these pearl strings kits and they all come in such fun colors. But you guys have been such a, you know, I love, somebody says, thank you, I love your enthusiasm. Well, I'm loving you guys are excited. So I really feed off you guys. Um, this is Leonora and the reason why she's here is because she is from a local designer as well. And he, she makes the cutest, most adorable things. So there you go. I wish I would have spoken more French, but you know, it's a little bit crazy sometimes trying to do both. So, désolé si j'ai pas parlé assez en français. Um, yes, thank you. Oh my God, thank you very much. But you know what? You don't need a passport to come see me virtually. And I'm so excited. Some ladies from New Hampshire are coming next weekend. So, but right now we're gonna go back down south to Birmingham, Alabama. And um, you know, you, I, I help people. I love uh, people helping people with sweater quantities and helping them to fit, get the right fit for their, um, their size. So you just message me if you need help and I'm there. And I'm gonna hand this off right now to Holly in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, I got one minute. I got one minute, oh my God. It's 35. Oh, it's 35? It's 435, so you have 10 minutes. Oh, I have 10 minutes left because I have 4.44. No, it's 4.44. So some something's weird. Hi, Holly, you can get on. I'll, I'll just mute myself. Thanks, everybody. You've been great.